Hello, I'm Jen from Pixelscapes.com and I am painting my way through the Dungeons and Dragons monster manual. Uh, today's monster is a giant fire beetle. Uh, nice hot glow. All right, so I'm going to walk you through both my sketch and then the painting. Here's the sketch, which I have sped up to just a minute. Uh, so start with my rings. And then I have the carapace of the beetle, who is, of course, basically just a ladybug, uh, except with antennas for adorableness. Um, and then I adjust where it goes. The other legs, I figure, are just a little too far back for you to see. Like they're hidden by the carapace or by the terrain, behind the ring, whatever. This is enough, enough legs. Uh, so now I'm putting in my final lines. And then the, the spots, basically an inverted ladybug because it's black with red spots. And here we go. Okay, and here's my painting video, which is five minutes. So the thing about fire beetles in the monster manual is it, it describes them as having these two red hot glowing organs, uh, which is the spots. Um, and I just wanted more than that, so I'm going to pretend that those, that those fire organs are like inside the body and glowing outward through all these almost windows. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. So I used my iridescence uh, rendering to um, make this very white texture, which I then turned to the black, uh, like a bluish black, as you can see. Uh, and then I have my red spots and antennae, which then I have to just like glow the hell out of them with a blur. But I do clean up the bottom of the antenna. And then there, I figure there's spots on the other side, like sort of around the corner. So I add the glow, even though you don't see the spots themselves. There's one right there and another one on his butt. So, I'm not sure how much that shows in the final analysis. The one on his, on his backside doesn't really show. The one on his shoulder will show a little. So, then I start looking at how these all work together. And because they're glowing so brightly, I want the glow to actually reflect on his legs. So, that's where you can see I'm, I'm sort of laying in that red. And then the belly, I just made black with more more red glow to it all right let's see so the antennae i don't like them being red all the way down to the bottom so i added a black you know sort of shading to it still with the red hairline so that you can see it but but just a little more subtle of a transition. <sighs> Let's see. Get the eyes and teeth to to be um, white. Now I always draw in these highlights just because I like the cartoony look of it. I think it's adorable. But in this case, I'm giving him highlights in the middle of his eyes too. These yellow highlights. Um, and similarly, I'm adding those yellow highlights to the hot parts of his body. There we go. Like how 9000's eye. Yeah, okay, there. And then I clean it up, and then I put it back, and then I clean it up and put it back. But I eventually get to the point where I'm, I'm happy about it. And then I add white, just because it's so it can be white hot. And I love how it looks on black. But I always love how these colors look on black. So, there you go. So, I think that looks sufficiently burning hot. Uh, let's see. So, then I've got the white glow. I made the rings temporarily white so I can actually see what I'm doing. And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing with the edge. Um, I didn't really use a background, just sort of a gratuitous orange glow. Like maybe he's reflecting it off a floor or something. 
Um, as for the ring, I, the, the red is just too juicy. I gotta use red with this like sort of black gradient to it. And then I add my, my um, ring line color, which is of course more red. <laughs> the carapace of the beetle, I start with blue just because it's got to stand out somehow. But then I start adding red to it because, as noted, these spots are, you know, gleaming off of his knees. So, I, I'm going to work on that a little here. I'm going to clean up the parts that I don't want to be red. Made his toes a little, and his, and his mandibles, a little brighter uh, and lighter blue, just for contrast more contrast and added a bit of contour to the blue lines and then I make my pixelscapes label match nicely with a little black along the bottom edge and I keep tweaking because I can't resist and then I'm done so thank you all for coming by um, please do like comment share and subscribe uh, if you comment i will reply to you and uh last but not least you can see more of my uh, art at pixelscapes.com and uh come say hi on twitter i'm at pixelscapes on twitter as well so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>